few things in my city. Let me just snap out of this view and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of City Skylines here in my as yet unnamed new city. Uh, the map we're playing on is Glacier National Park St. Mary's and uh, I'm looking for suggestions on a city name or else I'm just going to end up defaulting to St. Mary's. And frankly, that sounds boring. But uh, yeah, today, I think we're going to work on expanding our population. I'd really like to get the next milestone in terms of population, so that way we can unlock uh, a few things in my city. Let me just snap out of this view and I'll show you what I mean. Uh, milestones here. The next town, or the next level, rather, is Boomtown. And that's where we get uh, things like walking tours, buses, postal service. I'm going to make a concerted effort to uh, use these things earlier on in my city. Uh, Otterberg never had a bus route, believe it or not. Um, and we only had tours much later <coughs> when, um, when it was part of a unique building. So I would really like to start to... Uh, Put those things into my city at an earlier stage, kind of like a slower advancement, but uh, you know, one that would make sense for a small growing city. Usually small towns do end up with bus routes. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into my roads. What is this? Is this technically a highway? It is. So if I did a three-lane road, It cuts it down. So if I grab, see, I don't have highways. Sorry, right, gotta use this one. <clears throat> upgrade these. these. There we go. Upgrade. And now we've got three lanes coming into and out of my town. Much better. Oh, did I miss this one? I missed this one. And let's see here. Arrows, I believe. We control click. Yep, everybody gets a lane. Yeah, I want everyone to have their own lane when going around. Look at that. See, people are already speeding up. Alright, <clears throat> so the name of the game is Growing the City. Uh, I believe, since we're talking about... Oh, uh, let me just show you the mods that I've installed since the last time. I played. I was lamenting the loss of the Electric Roads mod, the Total Auto Budget, and the No Radioactive Desert mods. So if you'll come up here, you'll see that all of the ground area that was starting to look a little scummy up here in my industrial area is now lush again, which I truly appreciate. If you want to see the Electric Roads mod, uh, all of these roads that are blue now carry electricity, which means, in theory, I can delete these. And that should not cause my water tower to collapse in on itself like a neutron star. Okay, whoop. Now there's the issue. So the cables, even though it's right next to the road, they don't transfer power to it. You actually, if they can, the cables can only transfer power to a house, and the house can only transfer power to the road. So you have to have that uh, cable house road interface. The house has to be there. So watch, it'll come back now. Boop, there it goes. 
but other than that, so basically like once we build a road into this area, we'll need this cable anymore. Actually, why don't I just do that now? If I take that three lane road, and I just go straight over. And yeah, why doesn't it do that? If I do this, that should work. Yeah. There. So this will be just a normal road, actually. Eventually. Like. And then I can bulldoze this wire. Alright. So this is my main thoroughfare through this small town. Uh, let's see, I'm starting to get more demand for residential. So what I'd like to do is extend it this way. I don't want to just impose a huge grid. So actually, if you look at the info view for terrain heights, this is all flat area, which is wonderful for building. So I might impose the grid on this area, but up here where the hills begin for the eventual mountains, or I guess it's a ridge for the, uh, it's a ridge for the rail line at this point. Um, I'd really like to have a few sparser neighborhoods with a little more organic road pathways uh, up in this area that involve the hills. So, I'm going to stay away from a grid in this area, but yeah, let's see here. Before I do that, what kind of... So I have farming, and I have forestry industry, and I have fishing. Let's, let's begin by growing my road network and putting in the residential that we need. And then, I will work on... Um, industry. Let's go straight for a bit, please. doing that. If I bulldoze that, nope, it messed it up. I don't have the undo mod. So if I do that, I'm going to reconnect it. Alright, so that's complete. See, look at that. It doesn't break it up when you do it that way. That's so weird. Hm. Alright, let's put in our little back alleys. <clears throat> and now might be a good chance to put in our pedestrian walking path. I'm actually going to start doing lane streets. Maybe, what if I 
does a tight alley look like? Oh, it is tight. Look at that. like that better. And then I don't have the zonable pedestrian one yet, which is fine because I don't intend on zoning this as it is, but I'm going to do this and just snap to grid. Decorative park. There we go. Connect this the whole way. Maybe this. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, see, I like the additional functionality of this kind of like pathway coming through. Good. Good. I'm gonna lose a couple of buildings, but I think it's worth it. Like, gonna lose a couple. Enjoy, I enjoy giving my, my people a lot of space to walk around. A lot of ways to walk around. I think of it as like giving kids ways to walk to school. Do this, and then this, I guess. Yeah. And then we'll do uh, that alleyway again. Without sidewalks, but with available parking spaces. Uh, let's just put this down. Oh, me all my snapping back, please. Shake y'all. Uh, I'm gonna do this. There we go. Put me in the pathway. All grid here to here. Cool. I wonder if I take the road, this one, and I upgrade these, will that do anything? It does nothing to the buildings. Good. I like that. Wait a minute. What? Why would it unzone them? Oh well, my residential demand is so high it'll come right back. Click and click. There we go. Over here. Forgot about over here. All of you are gonna de zone. Don't know why. Uh, let's put the pathways in over here. Connecting to the main drag over there, but I guess I will over here. Let's connect here. Weird. All right, so we've got like a pedestrian grid overlaying our normal grid. Let's check the water. Let's 
extend it down through here so that our delightful little neighborhood streets are covered. Water availability is low. Why is that? Auto budget is dropping the cost. Alright. So let's zone some stuff. Uh yeah, that one, sure. And then industrial areas. We'll put some additional industrial up here. We're gonna need to build an additional road network up this way to handle additional industrial stuff. Let's do that now. Regular road. bit of space and all oh, snapping please thank you there need a little bit of space between the streets there we go that's not so bad Covered, zoning, industry. All of the areas. The heck was that sound? Something to do with my steam, I'm sure. Don't even know if it came in on the recording. It was like wop 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 wop. I'm making 2300 a tick. Let's put down a park or two because I know we unlocked it last time. Ah, uh, small park is only $8 a week. Small playground, trees. I don't have any special parks I downloaded anymore. Good, because that's probably what was bogging down my machine. Plazas, other parks, what are other parks? Oh. We've got actual park areas, etc. Crops. But, uh, my monitor turned off. <clears throat> Thanks for the auto sleep function. Bear with me. I thought my computer decided to freak out for a second. Until I realize it was just a TV. Props. Okay. Park maintenance, content creator packs. Yeah, these are weird ones. Alright. Small park is not that small, but it is big enough to fit back here. So we can absolutely we can put it on the corner here. There's one. That covers most of the existing neighborhood. Let's put another one back in this neighborhood. Does it cover? It covers damn near the whole thing. We'll move it down one block and put it back here. That's ideal. There we go. Let's see here. We've got parks. Ah, the Watch It mod. I still don't have Watch It. Auto budget. Are you killing my schools? Yes, you are. Put my schools back at 100%, please. Thank you. Capacity for not be great. Uh, I can build a high school 
I've got the upkeep and I've got the money and I can build a library. I'd love to keep up with the library as well, but I think the priority is first and foremost the high school, which I'm going to put on this corner right here. Everybody loves a good high school. Great. Then, how much money do I have? 27? I can afford a public library. What is this? Community school, small and safe museum. I'm not sure I'm getting. I have an alternative to elementary school. Cost 12,000, 240 a week. What is the point of this? Student capacity, 250. There's 300. Water and electric, maybe? 240 and 480. So it consumes less, but it costs more, has higher upkeep, has less student capacity, and it's just an alternative. I don't know the point of this. I'm assuming the same thing happens here. Yeah, capacity 800 versus capacity 1000. Yeah, I don't know why you would use those. If you know why, please explain to me down in the comments below, because I would love to know why you would use a community school. So there is my library. We're going to do our best to keep the library coverage pretty aggressive on this playthrough. But a small town like this would probably only actually have one library. So that's actually pretty accurate. Uh, industry is going in, but the demand is super low. And residential demand is also super low. We've got all this zoned. Just wait to fill in. Let's let's talk. What is happening? Uh, we need more electricity. Is the auto budget mod doing that? Uh, yeah, it's all the way up at the top. So that means I need another wind turbine. Let's repeat the pattern here. go, nice and tight together. There we go. Look at that, we're making a nice little wind farm here on the river. That's good. Alright, let's pause. Let's talk about how I'm going to get a road up here to get little mountain houses. I think what we're going to do, why is the water so wonky? Water is kind of weird, isn't it? Interesting. All right, what I'd like to do is, I guess, make a road off of this intersection, coming up into the hills, crossing the river, uh, the highway, up into the hills, and coming back down and crossing again. So you got like a little bridge here and a road here. Yeah. That would be of benefit to the cities. Yeah. Why would a truck come down this road already? Weird. Alright, let's put it back on the ground. I want to make it look semi-natural, so let's get it the longest slope we can get.
And then we'll stop that one there. I want this road to go another two blocks for the eventual cross street. Not enough money. Oh, because I'm spending it all on roads. We need to kind of let the money come back, I guess. While we're letting that come back, let's check on our street signs. Yeah, we're still good here. Still good, still good. There we go. And this deserves no street signs. Perfect. Yeah, we need to just build up our cash for a bit, I think. They are asking for a little more commercial at this point. Do I have any open commercial spots? Yes, I do. Let's put that there. <sighs> All right, let's see about adding an easy industry area. So we've got salmon and anchovy. I could put a fishing industry like right on this peninsula area and get them both. We would have, is there shellfish and tuna? did this and then this. Well, there's some purple in those lakes. Why would the purple be in the lakes? Interesting. Shellfish? Okay. Anchovy and salmon, and there's shellfish in the lakes. But I forget what it's actually determined by. I think it's flow rate and depth. So, like, shallow no flow is anchovy, shallow flow is salmon, deep. No flow is shellfish, deep flow is tuna, I think. Don't quote me on that. <clears throat> but I think that's how they actually determine what fish is available and where. So let's let's put down what is this? Fish and harbor. I can't afford it. Yeah. Complete looping fishing route that starts into the harbor. Ah, uh, no. So I can't afford it yet, but I know that the road's gonna wanna come, like, this way. So I almost wanna, like, keep the road going and bring it around to, like, this. No matter what, the shortest route is this way. I do just like a road here and then down. Uh, why why is that allowed? Hmm. Let me take my gonna end up like deleting these for the sake of windmills, aren't I? Actually, you know, let's let's do that. We'll do a straight road here. And we'll 
Tori dude. Curve it around the outside of this hill. Right, because I think if I go. Where is like. Wind. Here we go. Wind. Oh, see, I, I need to go even farther outside. I need to go. There. Alright, what is it what was it talking about? I was talking about water availability. Being oh because because I destroyed that road. Power. We gotta get a road into that power plant, so I'll just go like this. Is that in the power plant? Yes it is. Here it comes back. Ding, ding, ding. There. Alright, and then I will curve this road around the hill. Start here. Water availability is still kind of crappy. Why is that? <clears throat> water. Power's good. Water is not. 74,000. Why is that? The budget is cranked all the way up. So we just need a new water tower. That's the long and short of it. Like this. Oh geez, not for a long time. Alright, water tower. Don't put it anywhere there. I think put a water tower. Can I put it over here where the rest of the noisy crap is? Let's put it there for now. There we go. Not happy with the fire coverage. Water good. Fire coverage. Not that great. Uh, I think I can fix this with smoke detector distribution. Let's try that. We'll enact that on our budget. Expenses is gonna $111. Nope, still going up. And it's still worth it just to keep people off my back. Alright, how close are we to see we're still no closer to being able to afford that? Let's talk about natural resources. I've got ore, I've got some 
Bumber up here. So farmland up here. this area and make it a lumber area. Hmm. That's something I want to do right now. I think it is. I can kind of expand the road. Well, let's see what the land looks like. Okay, so it's literally this green area would end up being a lumber area. I can do that. Let's start with what we have here, just in general first. Industrial areas, paint that. We're gonna go follow the arc of the green here. Cover this in sycamore center. Sick. Oh, uh, you know what? I want to do the same thing. Well, before I get there, the reason I don't want to make this a lumber specialty yet is because I don't have any lumber specialty productions yet. How much is this? $20,000! Okay. That saved my money. Actually, maybe this is a good idea to take a loan out for cost four three it only costs us a thousand dollars I'll take it I'll take that and then I'll plop down this thing plop it down somewhere inconspicuous like here congratulations Sawmill, small tree plantation, small log yard. Okay, cool. Alright, uh huh. Let me expand the road or two. I'll go this way for now. And, oh, I can't do that. This is 28% full. So I can't move that yet. Okay, let's put production These are four thousand dollars. Wow. Fifteen thousand, five thousand. These are not for beginning towns. That is what I just discovered. really full. Electricity. I hate to tell you, buddy, but I don't have any money for you.
my natural resource? Okay, so this is pretty light in terms of the logging industry. I can add trees though. What is this? Not enough customers. Don't know what to do for you there, buddy. Let me just take this again. Eventually. Eventually you'd want a train line to come down through here. As like the lifeblood of the town. We actually want it to come down like crossing it. Yeah, electricity, I know. I know. You need electricity. I just need to chill out and uh, build up my coffers a little bit. Let's follow this road up the river. We're not quite done yet, but we're just going for a trip while our money grows. That's cool. I think that's a school or the library over there. Let me start getting into Main Street. Where are you going, buddy? Going across the river. Checking out the wind farm. Yeah, that was a nice little ride. Yeah, we just need more money. Why is the water not... Oh boy. dollars a week. Boom town, we got it. Transport, we got ferries, walking tours, buses, taxis, postal service. A lot of stuff. How much money did we get? We got $35,000? Roughly. So let's put, ooh, here we go. Advanced wind turbine, 12,000. So it's double. But it more than doubles the output. And same noise production more than doubles the upkeep, but it is worth it. And now I can build out here on the water without bothering these nice town folk. Get 20 megawatts, please. Right here. And all I need now. A little wire connected to the rest of the grid. They are not pretty. <laughs> All right, well, that should cover our electrical needs for a while. Let's talk about. Adding one of those oh, wait a minute. death care. Don't have any death care. No disease. Child care. C 
seniors. How, how should that be? Twenty-two thousand dollars. That's all my money. I cannot afford that. Let's put a cemetery down. Put it down back here. Up in the hills. There's a cemetery. Okay. Transport. What's a cheap transport that I can add to my city as a service to my people? Bus. Taxi. Tour. Postal service. Postal service is probably. Postal service. No. Collect and distribute locally. That's actually not that expensive. Um, bus. Depot. Biofuels bus depot. Forty grand. Wow. Uh, it's a depot before creating lines. Hmm. That would be worth it if I had the money. Which I don't. Oh, look at these. Large road decoration grass with bus lanes. Six lane, two way, cars, decorative trees, and dedicated bus lanes. That's not bad. One way bus lane with trees. I wish it was like a mixed road like this, but one way. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, uh, can I add taxis easily enough? Taxi Depot. Work as a garage repair shop, 15,000. That would be an easy thing to add to my city. 15,000, I got that. Uh, let's Add the depot. Well, if this is going to be like an industrial area for fishing, I can totally see this being where the taxi depot would be. And then we can add a taxi stop. What, like? You can add it there. So add one there. And then we'll add one way down here. Like that. And we'll add one, say, right. Here we go. Why are you? Oh, this is the one that can never get customers. Kind of dirty. Why is that doing that? We were out of time. Oh, that's literally all it is. Alright, well, let's just make it so the wall's at least above ground. There we go. Well, my little city's getting taxis. Ah, oh, the demand for residential is through the roof. I should expand this neighborhood just to make it a little more even. I'll do that, and then it'll be time to go. That'll be the end of this episode. What? How long is... Yeah, it's literally dot for dot. So, I can do... I can do this, and just come up to, like, here. 
so. And down to here. And grab my small lane. Not enough money, damn it. Just hemorrhaging cash, huh? Here, let me zone a little bit. So that way, at least that like actually gets covered before I run out of money again. Come on. Pause before I get that building in. Why is my walking back? Come on, grid. Here we go. There. And I think I'll probably end up doing something here. Frankly. the frontage road, so I don't want an intersection there. Let me just put this. Oh. Not enough money. Damn it. Uh, come on. There we go. And we'll get the walkway. In the walkway. Alright, let's zone this thing. I get a lot of like little homes, aren't I? Oh, water. I forgot about water. Alright, let's cover this. No, oh, can't do it. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. Gotta wait for my money to come in. It's like waiting for payday to like buy yourself something. You know you're just gonna be broke again at the end of it. But you're like, I have to. I need it. I need my money, God. Come on. There. Did that. Now, can I do this? And actually put some water on my taxi stand. Do, do, do. We can throw them a tax revenue. Okay, here we go. Well, that'll have to be it. Alright, guys. It's probably going to have to be it for the episode. I think what I'm going to do is I am going to allow. What are you doing? Oh, box truck. I'm going to allow this city to run for a little bit, because it is my intention to run the city and allow it to make a little money before logging off. Uneducated adult, operator, going to drugstore, drugstore is right there. Now let's take a little cruise through the city. I love my windmills. Wind turbines, look at them over there. Adorable. Well, guys, I hope you like this episode of City Skylines. Uh, yeah, hopefully, uh, by the time this episode airs, we'll have uh, at least a couple comments on what we should name the city. I'd love to hear your opinion. I'll 
take it under advisement when I'm actually naming the city. So yeah, you can help me name my own city. Uh, so I'd really appreciate a, a comment, a like, and a subscribe. Give me a little shout out. Let me know how you feel about the city. And I will catch you guys next time on City Skyline. Peace.